hallelujah. Those of you who are still in our, in our virtual room, I want to encourage you today to trust in the name of the Lord. Trust in God with all of your heart, with all of your strength, with everything that is within you. Do not walk away from your faith in God. Do not, you may have been disappointed in the last season. You may have been weary, become weary in doing and doing what is right. But I want to encourage you today. Don't be weary in living for God. Don't be weary. Don't throw in the towel at this point. It's too weak. Listen, we just, we're, we're, we're in this thing now. And don't miss seeing God deliver. Don't miss the opportunity to see God bring breakthrough in your own lives. Don't miss the opportunity to see the salvation of the Lord. Stand still and see what God's going to do. Stand still and wait for God. Wait patiently for him. And he's going to deliver us. He's going to break us through. He's going to bring us out. And we are coming out with victory. We're coming out with grace and favor. I believe the word of the Lord, that the Lord said that he would prosper us even in the day of adversity, even in the day of famine, he was going to prosper us. And I am already hearing the testimonies of people who are saying that God is delivering. If you didn't know it, you're going to find out. Come on, wait, your turn is coming. Come on, shit. Your turn is coming. It's about to be your turn to receive from the Lord. And yes, you're going to experience signs, wonders, and miracles. That's not church jargon. That is the word of the Lord to you today. You are about to see signs, wonders, and miracles in your own life. You will be the one who will testify about the goodness of the Lord, not over yonder, but in the land of the living. Ah, yeah, you got to wait it out. You got to wait it out. Wait and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste it and see ah, that the Lord is good and blessed is he who will wait for him and wait patiently. Ah, God, give us patience to wait for you. Uh, he may not come when you want him, but I promise you this, people of God, he's going to be on time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is about, it's about to be on and popping. I'm telling you, it's about to be on and popping. I prophesy to you today that God is about to release into your own household. He's going to release into your house the things that you are, that you, some stuff you hadn't even been looking for, but God's going to deliver it into your hand in this season. He's not going to wait until the pandemic is over to bless you. He's going to bless you in the middle of it. Hallelujah. He's going to bless you in the middle of it. People are getting, hallelujah, people are getting uh, promotions on their job. People are getting new jobs. I know that they say that a whole lot of people are signing up for unemployment. I get that and I understand that. But listen, people of God, God's got some stuff that he's got to put on the books for some of you who have been faithful to God in the last season. And if you can remain faithful even in this, even in the midst of this, oh God, you have, your eyes haven't seen and your ears haven't heard and it has not entered into your heart yet. You have not even conceived it yet, the things that God's about to do. God's doing that. People are closing on houses. Come on now. And and, and I'm talking like within within seven days, within seven Seven days. Uh, they weren't. They weren't even on the on the calendar yet. Uh, in some cases, people's uh, closing dates are being turned back, and they're saying, "No, no, no, no. We can't. We can't wait till the end of the month to close you. We gotta close you now. Can you show up with your with your stuff on tomorrow? Listen. Be ready for the releasing of signs, wonders, and miracles. You gotta get ready for it because God's gonna release it while you are in the middle." of a being in a shutdown, God's going to deliver you and he's going to do great and mighty things for you. And if you believe it, you ought to just right where you are, you ought to clap your hands or lift your hands and say, Lord, I thank you that you're doing it for me and my house. You're doing it for me and my house. You're doing it for me and my house. 
And not only that, but God, I thank you that while I'm waiting on you to do it in my house and do it for me, I thank you that you're doing it for somebody else, even right now in this moment. Hallelujah. Uh, unexpected money is about to show. I don't prophesy about money, but today I feel a release of the Lord that money is going to show up in your account. And I'm not talking about a stimulus check from the government. I'm talking about unexpected increase is going to hit your house. Unexpe unexpected miracles are about to hit your house. Those of you who have loved ones who have been at the point of death, I don't care for what kind of sickness or disease it is. Uh, uh, God is about to show up with miracles. Hallelujah. Signs and wonders because this is the season of revival that has to take place. Oh God, for people to understand that Jesus Christ is Lord and that he still saves, he still delivers, and he still heals. There is absolutely nothing too hard for God. Absolutely nothing is too hard for him. He is Jehovah. Hallelujah. El Shaddai. Uh, he's an all-sufficient one. And nobody else uh, it qualifies. Hallelujah. Nobody else qualifies. Uh, more than he does. And so we give God glory and honor. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you, Father, for doing it for us today. Hallelujah. It is in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray today that you guys have received the word of the Lord. I pray that you are encouraged. I pray that you receive uh, what God is doing in this hour. Uh, don't be weary. Don't, don't back up now. Come on. Press into God and press in and get what you need from God. You cannot be on the outskirts and, and, and sitting on the, on the, on the, on the outside of, of this thing. You got to get in the middle of this with God because that's where God is delivering. He's delivering in the middle of it that those who will call upon his name, those are the ones that God is bringing deliverance to. Those are the ones that God is bringing great breakthrough to. You got to get in the middle of it. You got to put your faith in there. You don't need a whole lot of faith. All the Bible says that if you have the faith as the grain, as a size of a mustard seed, then you can move mountains with that. Listen, pull up with your mustard seed faith. Pull up with the faith that you have and declare that, listen, you don't got to wait for me to declare it or for some other preacher to declare it. Declare it over your own life. Declare it over your own family. Declare it over your own children. Declare it over your own community. Declare it over this nation that God is a deliverer and he's about to come through for me. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm telling you, I feel that thing in my spirit. Get get, get you a declaration and declare it and, and, and wait for God to bring it through. God, I, listen, you, you don't have to put, you, this is not one of those times when we say about this time tomorrow, about this time within 24 hours. Listen, when God does it, it'll be on time. And when God says it, it'll be just right. When God does it, it will be more than enough and it'll be sufficient, not just for me and my house, but it will be an overflow that will flow out to those who I am in contact with, those who will come, uh, oh my God, they can even come and walk past me, hallelujah, in the grocery store. They can walk past me six feet away, 10 feet away, 12 feet away, but they can receive because I'm walking in overflow. It's dripping off of me. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The glory of God. Hallelujah. The victory and the favor of God is dripping off of us at this hour. It's dripping off of us. Listen, it, listen, it's in our shadow. It's in our shadow even now. Hallelujah. The favor of God. And so those who come, who come in ear distance, those who can even have an ear to hear what the spirit is saying will receive because your faith is so powerful. And because God is making you so strong in this season that he will, listen, he will bless those who would receive it. And that's all I'm talking to you today. Be encouraged. Listen, uh, 
Don't, don't, don't spend all your time talking about a pandemic, but spend your time talking about the faithfulness of our God. God loves to be stroked. Come on, Shianda. God loves to be stroked. He loves to be uh, 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 elevated. He loves to be uh, uh, ed, ed, exhorted. He loves, uh, he loves it when we say, oh, you are great and greatly to be praised. He loves it when we call upon his name and we don't let up. He call, listen, he loves to hear, oh God, he loves to hear his people reaching out to him and saying, God, I trust you. I trust you and I wait for you and I and I and I and I love you even if listen if you don't do it I still love you if you do it today I love you if you do it tomorrow listen same praise I don't care what day same praise I don't care what hour I got the same praise my praise and adoration is unto the God oh God that answers us hallelujah Jehovah Shammah hallelujah Hallelujah. We give God praise today. Listen, um, I'm trying to end this, but I feel the fire of God on this one. Um, I didn't shut the people off online, but listen, that's all right. I wanted you to receive this word today that God is faithful and you have no reason to be afraid. Be not afraid. Be not afraid. Trust in the Lord your God. Wait patiently for him and watch him do what he said he was going to do. He is God and he's God all by himself. He is El Shaddai. God bless you.